The last thing I need to do while I've got the scaffolding up at this side of the house is to just sort out this little bit of render above the door to the cellar, below the salon window. I don't think it's going to take a lot to get it off, it's quite loose, but it is in need of some repair. Um, this bit here is not, it's not that high off the ground, so I don't really need the scaffolding to do that, I can do it on from the ladder, but yeah, scaffold's there, I'll use it. There we go, that's the rendering under the salon window replaced. I think it looks a lot better. I haven't put the cut the brick marks in it as it had before. I don't particularly like those. Uh, the other thing is I think they'd be a little bit beyond what I'm capable of doing and to be happy with them. So I'm planning on replacing all the render below this course of bricks all the way around the house. So if I decide to do that then I won't put the brick marks in and none of it will look odd but that's for another day for now this bit is done
I'll talk you through some of the things that have been going on in the garden. I've dug over a small patch of area here. It's got some uh, spring onions, carrots and parsnips in there at the moment. Next to that I've just finished laying a concrete pad. That's going to take the greenhouse. Uh, that, once that's dry I'll be able to put the greenhouse on there. A bit further along I've set some pallets up to make a compost area. Uh, so I'll keep that a little bit neater. Some more pallets and make a front for it. And here I've got some potatoes and some onions planted. So we should be getting some vegetables later on in the year. Well, as you can see, the scaffold is now gone from the back of the house. And it doesn't look too bad at all. It's certainly a lot better than the cracked and flaking rendering that we used to have up there. And it also means that the water is now not going in the house. Uh, while we're out in the garden, I did cut the grass yesterday. Some other things that have gone on is the vegetable area is looking a bit better now. The greenhouse is up on its base. I made some staging for that inside, so we've got plenty of space to put plants. Uh, here we've got some uh, broccoli, uh, so there's some carrots, um, parsnips, and I think you can just about see things in there starting to sprout up there. It's been a couple of weeks since we've sown those. Uh, we have potatoes in. Oh, I don't think I showed you. This. It's got a nice area for compost. Got some ca uh, onions growing in the middle there. And over the back here, we have the trees. We have the strawberry plants growing in there. It seems to be surrounded by wild strawberries now. The three raspberry canes are looking pretty good. Over this side, we've put a couple of gooseberry bushes in, got some sunflowers at the back there, and I've got another peach tree growing here. This one's now starting to sprout. Of course, with the we've got a lot of seedlings starting to grow in the greenhouse, so I need to dig up these. Put this out again for another vegetable area, so we've got some place to put beans, uh, dwarf beans, one of beans, things like that. And the greenhouse has worked out quite nice. We've got the shading on it so that plants don't, don't get scorched by the sun. As you can see, inside we've got plenty of shelving. Beans growing down the bottom there. And on the other side, we've got benched for potting up. Uh, yeah, so that's. Something I've done to make the house look a bit better from the road is I've painted all the railings along the front. It took far longer than I was expecting it to take. And I've still got a little piece to do on the back, on the other side. 
and I've also got some paint to do the garage door with as well so that will be white as well but I think that's improved the outside of the house a lot This is the inside of the railings, it's all been painted on the back side as well. I pressure washed all the railings, get off all the dirt and the loose paint and then it's painted them. It's been taking some time to do that. I've got last little bit here to do. Just the back of these four sections needs doing. And then it's completely repainted.